Hi, my name is Dan and this video is one in a series of videos I'm doing about the use of vectors in Unreal and I'm using it as an excuse to uh, give some grounding in vectors and uh, an understanding of uh, some of the ways that vectors are used and can be manipulated. Um, and in this one I'm going to talk about a thing called the cross product. So there are two uh, mathematical concepts that are called products, where you take two vectors and you uh, manipulate uh, some of the numbers and crunch them and you get something out of, as a result. In the last video we talked about the one called the dot product, which gives you a number out which is um, connected to the angle between the two vectors that you use. Uh, the cross product is uh, different, of course, and it has different maths, and the result is of another vector, is a third vector. Now, I'm not going to um, talk about actually how it is calculated. If you want to know, go and look it up. It's a bit more complicated than the dot product, and I don't want to swamp you. And partly that, and partly because I haven't actually memorized it myself. Um, and that's because uh, I don't tend to use, uh, when I use cross products, it's less useful than dot products uh, and when I do use it I don't tend to use the length of the vector so the thing that's important is the direction of the vector so I tend to be normalizing it um, uh, once I found it. Um, so the important thing uh, to know then in the definition of a, a cross product is that the vector that you get out is 90 degrees to both of the other vectors, uh, so the of the the input vectors. So if you look at this um, this widget here on this object, which has got the blue, red, and the green arrows, now they're all 90 degrees to each other. Um, and if you imagine that the green vector here that I'm highlighting is uh, the output, it can be the result of the cross product of the blue vector and the red vector. Now, I don't actually know which way round they need to be to get that green vector because cross product, it, the, the order that you feed the products in, the vectors into it is important. So A cross B is not the same as B cross A. But the difference is that the resulting vector is the opposite. And it goes in the opposite direction. So if you can see my cursor, it would stick out that way. So there are actually two vector directions that are um, perpendicular to both of those. Now, the blue and the red vectors happen also to be perpendicular to each other, but they don't have to be um, in order to do a cross product. Um, they can be anywhere apart from, you don't get a, a, a valid result if you're, um, <clears throat> if the two are coincident, which means they're pointing in exactly the same direction, or um, opposite, which means one of them is pointing exactly kind of the opposite direction down the but down the same line as the other. Um, so let's explore this a bit more with uh, some use of this pad. Uh, this is a, a thing that I've set up for previous videos um, and I'll just actually show uh, this in action. No, it's not a bit of a yet. So what I've got is I've got this thing that's rotating. It's conceptually kind of some very basic turret. And I'm also drawing a debug line of um, the forward vector from uh, that turret, and another debug arrow from the uh, from the centre of that to the centre of the player. Um, and there is a, an arrow head on there, but it's inside the player. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, uh, if we're going to get the cross product, that will give us another vector, which should be uh, perpendicular to those two at all times. Um, what use is it? That's a very interesting question. I do occasionally use it, uh, but a lot of the time... So the stuff that I've used it for in the past is if you've got a forward vector and an up vector for an object finding a sidewise vector. Actually, Unreal does that for you, so you tend not to use it for that. Um, so I can't, off the top of my head, think of a, actually a practical application. So really what I'm doing here is for completion. Uh, so in this... Um, in this pad, uh, this, this turret I've got set up, those two debug arrows being drawn, one's there and one's there, and I've got the rotation out here. Now, I've actually got some stuff left over from the last video here, which is um, here I'm calculating the, the vector, which is between the, uh, the turret and the player. 
get player pawn, etc. Um, and here I'm finding the actor which uh, the the forward vector, which is the same vector that I'm using to draw, but I multiply it up to draw it because that's of unit length, so it's not very big. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a cross product of those two. There we go. So we've got a vector. A good way of being able to visualize that is to again draw a debug arrow. So we're going to. Um, Draw debug arrow, and we're going to get that actor location once again, and use that as the start of that line. And then we need to add those two together to get the actual world's um, position that we want to have as the end position from our arrow. There we go, and well, let's see what it looks like. So here we are, and we've got a vector. Interestingly, is now it's upwards, and now it's downwards. And as the two vectors get closer together, it shrinks in length. As they approach 90 degrees, it gets the highest in length, and then it shrinks down again, and then it flicks to the other side. Because the arrows kind of the the angles the other way around effectively, so you will see it's kind of it's not directly perpendicular up, and that's because uh, although the forward vector from the turret is aligned to the axis, actually the turret's slightly higher than the player, so the vector from the player to the turret is um, slightly down. So the cross product vector is slightly skewed from directly up or directly down. And in fact, if I jump on top of here and make it so that um, the turret to the player vector is almost directly upwards, you'll see that the um, the arrow, the cross product arrow, is uh, coming out to the side rather than either up or down. And it is, you can kind of conceptually think in your head, it is always keeping itself so that it is perpendicular to both of those two input vectors. So there you are, that's the exploration of the cross product. Um, as I said, I can't think of a, an excuse other than just for completeness to actually do this. Um, and uh, unless I think of something else to tag on to the end of this series of videos, this is the last of the series of videos on vectors. And that's it from me for now.